Hello everyone, I recently finished reading um, The Dispossessed and I thought I'd just briefly give some brief thoughts because yes, I've been sick recently and I haven't really done much. I was actually mainly confined to my bed reading The Dispossessed but sometimes I feel a bit odd if I do not feel as though I have been productive. <laughs> so um, yeah, I thought I'd make a quick little rambly video, as I always do, talking about, um, well, yes, the dispossessed. What I particularly want to focus on is um, the dispossessed and its kind of intersections with um, some of Max Stirner's work and his idea on sort of egoism and uh, the individual and individual freedom. Uh, the main intersection that I see is, of course, um, the dispossessed is quite critical of um, how the sort of society on an Ares has sort of became, uh, well, there's kind of unspoken hi hierarchies. So, whereas, like, no one actually holds, like, these power, they're able to sort of influence others, and everyone sort of suppresses their own desires in the idea of sort of being... Um, uh, what's the called, uh, altruistic and sort of serving society. And of course society is held up as this idea and then sort of over the course of the novel, uh, Shevek sort of criticises this idea and sort of realises things would work better if people were more sort of egoistic and pursued their own interests. Um, I think there's... A particular name for the paradox, but it's basically a uh, a paradox where um, the group uh, may um, uh, where the people uh, people repeatedly uh, sort of sacrifice their own desires because they believe that it's um, for the good of society when actually their desires do not actually negatively affect society and may actually benefit society. Of course, here we're sort of talking about society if it is some sort of abstract things, but it is more so just the sort of all of the people and their interactions. We can't serve a society because society is this. It society is us, rather, and we have to be aware of that sort of thing. I think this kind of uh, falls into um, uh, a lot of Taoism, which I know um, influenced. Ursula uh, K. Le Guin, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Uh, that sort of... Uh, yeah, because Taoism is very much like uh, Wu Wei, the concept of sort of the best way of acting is to not act. That doesn't mean like be totally inert, but to sort of... I've seen it sort of explained as being the least expenditure of energy sort of based on natural observations, but I don't think that's a very good way of understanding it from what I've been told. I'm in no way an expert on Taoism, I should mention, but, um, uh, yes, uh, Wu Wei's sort of doing things without thinking, kind of less so in the mind of sort of uh, rejecting information and everything like that, but, um, more so in the way of flow, so kind of like how athletes can um, do these amazing athletic feats but hardly think about them. It's because they uh, that's what people want to try to achieve uh, via their... Um, uh, by their... Uh, What's it called? Sorry, I'm, I'm still not thinking entirely clearly. I'm still somewhat ill. Um, so where is I? Taoism? Yes, it's sort of like 
flow. Flow is the state that people compare it to, and I think, yeah, the idea is, is we should stop trying to sort of force things to go our way, but I think a lot of Stirner's work goes into this, like, this idea of Chevek sort of rejecting the idea that people should serve society, or sort of sacrifice themselves to society, but rather society should be composed of the flourishing of each individual, pursuing their own individual sort of um, their own action, and of course um, Stirner, he would have said, like, even when you're being altruistic, you are pursu uh, pursuing your own interest, and it's sort of like not letting this idea of society um, destroy you, and sort of conflict with your other interests and your other ideas, like, very much like uh, Stirner wouldn't say, oh, don't be an altruist. In fact, he wouldn't make any any moral claims whatsoever. Stern is sort of, it seemed to me in the unique in its property that he's just sort of describing how he lives and how he sees things as opposed to um, sort of telling you how to do things. Of course, he wants to share maybe and sort of maybe um, get this sort of um, sense of familiarity. Uh, but... Um, um, Sorry, I apologise, this is more rambly than even I normally do, but, uh, yeah, he doesn't make any moral claims, like, he might, he writes the book for himself, like, he might get joy out of having you sharing his things for his thing, but anyway, altruism, in altruism's sake, altruism is incompatible with egoism, but altruistic, like, behaviours, and mindsets that we would call altruistic are not necessarily uh, in conflict with a conscious egoism. Uh, like, for example, like, Chivek kind of represents this quite well in that he sort of still pursues the best for other people, but that's because he cares about them, he has emotional attachment, and he sort of realises that without this sort of abstract society, so basically, without uh, other people and his interactions with them, Shevek, uh can't sort of thrive, he, he, he would be emotionally lacking, and m uh, many of his needs would fail to be met, and he would lack, like, these important feelings to him, like solidarity and stuff like that, but the idea is, is he then sort of acknowledges that he's pursuing society for his own sake, and sort of realises that like, him doing what he wants in the end works better for everyone. Yeah, I'm not um, explaining this very well, and I am rambling, but uh, yes, I believe that I've sort of made something maybe for people to think of. Um, have a nice day, everyone. Thank you.